We produce three different type of forecasts. One is for the U.S. economy, the direction of the economy, and one is for California, the state of California, and one for Orange County. The 34th annual Chapman Economic Forecast is next week where President Jim Doty and Dr. Esmail Adibi, a Chapman economist, will predict America's economic forecast for the 2012 year. Chapman's predictions were spot on according to Dr. Adibi, who sees a bright fiscal future ahead. The financial crisis began in 2009 with the U.S. GDP only growing by 2% each year. Since the GDP is not growing sufficiently, unemployment is still high. GDP, which is the total output we produce in the country, is going to grow by about maybe 2.3%. We would be able to create about 1.7 million jobs at the national level, at the local level, close to 20,000. The extreme loss of jobs in the last 10 years is due to high levels of taxation, regulation, and uncertainty about the state's fiscal situation. I think we're tanking real hard right now, so we need something to pick us up. In 2012, I think the economy is going to improve some. Unemployment will probably decrease, and I don't know, I think we're heading in the right direction. Local businesses have been affected by the economic fluctuation. After 22 years, Ray's Barbershop has recently experienced it firsthand. It affects my business only because people get less haircuts. You don't get cut as often. But everyone still has to get a haircut even when they're looking for work. In 2011, Europe's economy, the Libyan Revolution, the earthquake and tsunami in Japan, and California's budget deficit were all setbacks in Chapman's economic predictions. So given all of these five headwinds that we had, the economy somewhat was turned out to be a little slower than what we anticipated. But we said there would not be any recession, and there is not obviously a recession. The state of the economy has had an impact in one way or another on the Chapman and Orange communities. Students, faculty and small business owners voice their opinions, hoping the 2012 year will bring positive economic change. I'm Hannah Brown reporting for Chapman News.